All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to start a whole new entire series. It's going to be every single Friday, the fourth Friday of every single month. So it'll be one video. We're going to keep everything under five minutes, and we're going to be calling it the tips, tricks, and tools. Now, I'm going to give you guys a very quick rundown of special tools, special tips, you know, stuff like that. And I'm going to make it very quick. Uh, I do a lot of in-depth videos on some of the stuff that I will be showing you under the five minutes. Now, this video probably will be a little longer, just so you guys understand where I'm going to be coming with the new videos. Now, they won't always be in here. They won't always be about electrical. Most everything I do will be about electrical, but not everything. So, And everything that I do show you, there will be links down below where you can go to the Amazon store, my store, help support the channel. If you buy it from my store, it won't cost you a dime more than it would if you were to buy it on your own. And all the money always goes right back to this channel to keep doing these videos. And if you subscribe, especially and watch these videos, I will be giving, not every single month, but I will be giving away some pretty cool items. Now, free charge. So you just have to make sure that you watch and then just do what it says. It'd be something pretty cheesy and easy. So anyway, so what we're gonna do today will be the first installment so it's january it'll be the fourth friday of the month and it'll be under five minutes like i said this video will not be under that five minute mark just because i need to tell you guys about this you know how i'm going to be doing it and so on and so forth so now that i got all the business out of the way please do me a favor minimize your screen hit that thumbs up put the notification bell to all and subscribe so you guys will be able to know when i upload and guys, it'll help me out if you just hit that thumbs up and, and watch every video that I do. Share it with all your friends. Have conversations down in the comments. Tell me guys what you think. If there's something special, if there's a tool that you guys want me to review, uh, I'll be glad to do it. Now, just so you know, from this point on, on these videos that you see, on special, well, all my videos, but especially these, I have tried every single tool or tips or tricks that I'm going to show you. I have basically done everything. I have... I've tested it, I put it through the ringer, I've used it on a daily basis, and I know it's either crap or it's good. Most times it's gonna be good. Uh, I will tell you some things that are bad, and I'm gonna tell you one bad thing in this video as soon as I start this video. So, without further ado, all the business out of the way, now you know all my stipulations, now you know what I'm gonna be doing, let's dive right in here and talk about this video right now. All right, so this video is gonna be about the screwdriver right here. Now, this screwdriver, I will tell you straight up is amazing screwdriver let me tell you if you have carpal tunnel if your hands go to sleep at night if you're tingling if you're screwing and you got um like you know your hands numb and you just are tired of screwing well boy i got a screwdriver for you and it's this one right here now links will be down obviously in the description for this screwdriver now it's amazing let me tell you a little bit about it i'm gonna show you how it works here and i think you guys are gonna be pretty amazed now it has a light on it all right, and it's pretty awesome. Now this tip comes with this screwdriver. Uh, basically, you just pull this collet right here. You pull it straight out. So you pull it out, right? And it comes out. One side is flat. One side is Phillips. And let me tell you, uh, a lot of the screwdrivers that come with these tips included are usually junk. This one is, I mean, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you straight up. I put in, I'm not even gonna exaggerate, over. 300 receptacles at least with this screwdriver in particular and it has been phenomenal. I use it on a daily basis to do basically all my screwing that I need to do. Whether it be a coupling, a connector, uh, receptacle, switch covers, plate covers, whatever the case may be, uh, I use this religiously. Now, I do also love this screwdriver right here guys. This is a Craftsman. Now, this video is mainly about this, but I do want to tell you uh, the screwdriver right here is really, really good. So what I do, I use both of them. When this one goes dead, I just pop this one in, bloop, and I start screwing again. I will tell you that you're not going to run a three-inch screw with this. It's not made for that. It, I mean, it's not going to do it. The, you see how small it is. It's You need to do that. You need to get a drill. Perfect for putting receptacles. Now, I will say if you put it in a plastic box, let's just use this one for instance. If you were to put it in here, chances of it running in there are pretty good. Sometimes the plastic is a little more, I don't know, less big, I guess you can say. And you have to run it in one time, run it back out, and then run it in, send it home, and it'll take it right on in. And I'm going to tell you, 
it'll save yourself a whole lot of a whole lot of carpal tunnel, a whole lot of just really getting down and screwing. Because if you're putting in receptacles, you're putting in, let's just say, 100 a day, well, that's 200 screws you're screwing minus the plate covers. But, it, you know, if you're using a, you know, GFI, switch cover, whatever. So I will say I did have something bad to say. Now, I do have a Weehaw screwdriver. I'll link that video right up here. I do not like that screwdriver. It's electric, it's a speedy two, and to me, well, it's just junk. So I'm gonna have to be honest with you and say that that is really not a screwdriver to buy. I will leave a link to this one here. This will save your hand, guys. I'm telling you, I'm gonna show you real quick here. I'm gonna run a screw in here on this drywall, uh, and I'm gonna show you how good it is, and then we're gonna end the video. Okay. Now, normally you wouldn't be just screwing in a drywall, but I'm gonna show you, right? Very minimal pushing, and it goes right in. You can see the motor going. It does very good. You can back it out, no problems. The only problem I do have is where the buttons are right here. A lot of the times uh, when I'm lining something up, sometimes I'll accidentally hit the button. Now between this one and the Craftsman, I like this one better because I can find the buttons a lot easier. The Craftsman is great, don't get me wrong. But this one here, the buttons are very easy to push compared to the Craftsman. Love them both, but this one is my go-to if you ever or on a job with me anywhere, you will always see me use this particular driver right here. Now, this one is in the wood, so let's take it out and I'll show you what it looks like when you take it out. Now, I'm not gonna say it's gonna take it out because, you know, it is in wood, so let's see. Sometimes you gotta help it out a little bit. All right. But it took it out. I'm gonna put it right back in. All right, one thing I do like about this, if you get to the end, let's say you don't wanna you know, drive it all the way home because you might break something. Well, if you hold it very lightly in your hand like I'm doing right here, and you go to turn it, see how it turned in my hand? I'll show you that one more time. Watch again, guys. All right, ready? See how it spun? Well, it will allow you not to break the screw or break whatever. Usually, when you're putting on device plates, that's when it's a good idea to hold it very lightly and push it because that way it won't snap your plate while you're putting a screw in. All right, and that's gonna end this one right here. Now, like I said, I know this is more than five minutes, uh, I'm gonna try to keep it five or less, like I mentioned. But I had to show you guys how this thing worked. And I, I'm gonna tell you, if you buy it from Amazon, guys, and you don't like it, send it back. They're really not gonna say, oh, well, sorry, you took it. So you know, you know how Amazon is. They don't ask no questions. So try it out. I'm telling you right now, it's tried and true. This thing is a very awesome screwdriver. Get you one, you will not be dissatisfied. If you wanna see what happens next, make sure that you like and subscribe, remember, Hit that bell notification, like, subscribe, God bless, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.